Hello YouTube, Brad Z06 here. Here's another one. Let's get started. Going into the Walker halves. Doing like this. All right. This is part three of the massive haul unboxing that I'm doing. Again, if you haven't seen the other two videos, um, I, I would check those out. And uh, these were all given to me by uh, a buddy. He had some stuff that he was selling. He basically sold everything that was junk silver. And this is everything that was of a higher quality that was being sold at a premium. And he let me have a first uh, stab at it, basically. So, went through it and picked up the nicer pieces. I mean, look at all the details here. You're seeing in the feathers, the luster. Really nice pieces. I mean, obviously when you start seeing where you're going to start seeing it down the middle here. But there's still a lot of detail to be seen. Let's do this. I can really see it now. So really nice. A lot of these will be XF to uh, AU. Still some luster in that one even. These were some beautiful examples, guys. I just could not pass this stuff up. And to get the opportunity to sit and look through each individual piece and be able to just spend hours going through the collection, my own pace over multiple days, uh, Met up a few times to go through everything and sort it and set it aside. I mean, look how nice the fields are on this and just overall great eye appeal. There's a more blast white for those of you that like that. Beautiful piece, beautiful example. And I know I pretty much uh, airtight everything I get, guys, but um, I don't think you'd disagree airtighting some of these ones. These are these are nicer examples. So, like I mentioned on another video, this isn't something that you're going to be wanting. Uh, you would pay spot for. You know, you would expect to pay a premium on something like this. This isn't something you're going to come across if you buy a roll of Walker halves. You're not going to. You're probably not getting a piece like this. These are definitely going to stand out. Some of these have a nice uh, toning to them. They definitely have character to each piece. You can tell they haven't really been messed with. There's not a, there's not really a cleaning with any of these, which is something that should always be a concern in the back of your mind when you're looking at pieces, picking them up. Really nice. And most of these, I don't think there's any from the 30s. I think these are all going to be um, in the in uh, the 1940s. Mainly 43 to 45. But uh, there might be, I think there's a couple 41s in here as well. And you really do have to look at a coin. If you look at it from far away, it might look like it's just a... Uh, you know, it's worn down or something, but you really have to see if it has all the, a lot of that detail still there. I took a loop to everything that I was inspecting. You can actually find some pieces where they look really nice, um, or I should say pretty nice, and then uh, you get up closer and it's just not as good as an example as another piece. So something to keep in mind. Always have a loop with you. That would be one of my biggest recommendations when looking at pieces to add to your collection. Look at it closer. There might be stuff that you don't see or you miss. Now some of these have little spots on them, but again, I wanted to uh, pick up more pieces, so I did get slightly lenient with some of the stuff I picked up. It's 
so not quite as sharp. There we go. Next one. Again, guys, I'm going through each piece, so uh, if you don't want to stay through the whole video, I totally understand, but this is for people that want to really uh, take a look and do enjoy looking through coins. It's a more detailed unboxing the entire haul. Just splitting up in different videos, otherwise it would be a very long single video. So... Lots of luster still left in, in a lot of these pieces. We have such beautiful coinage, don't we? I think it's just got such great detail. I'm always a fan of the eagle. Walking Liberty, of course. That one's really nice. So I really think that these will hold a better value than if you just go pick up a, a roll of junk silver, if you will. Which is what I want to put in here. I want stuff of value. I want stuff of quality. I could go, you know, put twice as much of what I have, but... It just be a junk silver. I like to have some quality pieces in here. I am passionate about coins, if you haven't noticed by now. That has some cool toning to it. It's very it's gold right there. Look at that. That's really cool. Really brilliant. Let's see. Really happy with uh, this whole pickup, guys. Super exciting. Have to do a new uh, full uh, half dollar collection in the future, huh? Added so much. I think I basically doubled what I had, and these are better pieces. A few more here, about 10 more or so. Really it's good to get to know people around you that you can, uh, that you can establish a trust with that, you know, like the same sort of thing like coins and collecting coins or stacking and um, you know it opens you up to new opportunities where you're going to be able to pick up stuff that you're not going to get on at mix and all that kind of stuff like I said before even if you do get it it's probably um, a lot of just the same dates over and over and you're not going to get to pick through the pieces. Whereas if you know someone, you get to sit, look through, and, you know, pick what it is you want. It's not a surprise. You know exactly what you're getting. There is a lot of, uh, there's a lot of pluses to that, knowing exactly what you're getting. couple more here. Thank you so much YouTube for stopping by and taking a look. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I'm going to start showing. Uh, I still have uh, quarters, nickels, dimes, and silver dollars to go through. So be on the lookout for that. This completes all of the half dollars for the Massive Hall pickup. 
I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks so much, YouTube. Take care.